Hey, how's it going? It's your guy King David, Trap Monster, TrapMonster.com. Here to do another tutorial on uh, the VST Exhale by Output Sounds. Um, we're gonna be doing some sound designing in it. Let's check it out. Mmm, Trap Monsters, baby. So, as you can see, we're in the um, Exhale uh, VST from Output Sounds. Um, it's actually a, a VST that is um, that works um, solely in Contact 5. If you have the library, if you have that VST, I uh, definitely recommend you to get that. Um, so, I was um, working on the, on a beat. I had a... It's kind of like a skeleton or whatnot. I'll let you hear the... Uh, the, the the actual preset that I have made from out of the, one of the uh, uh, presets that comes with it, but actually shaped it to where it sounds um, like how I wanted it to sound. So check it out. So, as you can see, let me go to that one. So, all right, so <clears throat> this right here I made actually, but this one right here, I don't want to mess that up. Actually, I hadn't saved that one quite yet. So I'm gonna go to this one. I'll show you guys uh, from a, a, a blank page of uh, just straight raw presets that they have with this VST. So, um, okay. So that's how it sounds. And um, I wanna go into the engine part of it. And uh, first and foremost, I always find a different wavetable to play with. Okay. Add a little saturation to it. Turn it on. Turn that down a little bit. Actually, the amount of it needs to come down. Saturation is fine where it's at. So. another engine to where I can get a little bit more complex sound um, adding two or three different um, uh, uh, sounds together to layer it to just kind of shape it to be my own so it's got more of an airy sound to it I'm gonna turn this one off so you can hear it so I'm pretty like I'm pretty much liking that. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. I don't want it to overpower the first sample, so I turn this back on, boost it up a little bit more, probably about eight seven. Just a little bit more. I'm turning the other one down. Pan it slightly for both, and then I'm gonna go over to pan. I'm turning the pan engine on and uh, give it more of a stereo spread for both samples. Just makes it sound more fuller. Um. 
one. Let me see. Let me see how the fade sound on it. Turn up a little bit more. Bring the peak up. Sorry about the key playing. I ain't trained, but I know how to move my way around the board. So, um, let me see here. Add a little talk to it as well. Just go through a lot of the different functionalities. Um, this right here gives it more of a lo-fi sense uh, to me. See what I'm saying? Got yeah, more of a lo-fi, uh, lo-fi uh, 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 effect to it. So, I'm gonna increase the size on it and shape just a little bit. It's a little bit higher than that. So let me bring it the top down a little bit. It was causing a little distortion on the uh, on the high end. I wanted to make sure that the preset has a balance of low, mid, and high in it without too much high. And that's where you hear it was kind of high pitch. I can hear it in my monitors. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but um, it was getting pretty high in frequency. I want to turn that out, cut that out, because I, I don't want that at all. So um, now that we have both of the uh, samples uh, panned and leveled right, to my liking, I will uh, add the effects to it, which I've already done. And then, let me see, what else could I do to this? I'm gonna exit out of this page, come back here, and in here, <clears throat> I can add stutter, any of the other uh, effects that I may want for this, just to kind of finish it up. See how the uh, stutter sounds to it. And this is the mount knob right here. You can give it more stutter effect or less. I'm just turning the knob, so. You can hear it slightly. It ain't it ain't too dramatic like a stutter stutter effect, but you do hear it. see a rhythm filter let's see if we got some phase in here and this particular sound um, let's go with the spread let's see what's going on with that So, um, yeah, it's pretty dope VST, man, from Output Sounds. Um, and like I said, it's hosted inside the Contact 5 uh, module. So uh, definitely, guys, uh, check that out. It runs like $200. Um, and for the, for, for the library and, and, and for what it offers, you can't beat that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're able to stack sounds, layer it. And, yeah, I know you have other VSTs. You're like, well, I can layer it, but this is a voice engine that's able to do a lot of different things um, and you actually have the power to mess with wavetables inside of it as well to give another sound and feel to it. Everybody has the same sounds, true, but when you personalize it the way how you do by shaping it and putting different wavetables and effects to it, you kind of make it your own. That, that creates your own sound and, sa and style. So um, that's why I give it a thumbs up on that. Um, I might do it in depth. Uh, 
a tutorial on this VST. You guys let me know what you think about it. But um, for the most part, I just wanted to go over a, a short uh, snippet of just, you know, how to move around in, in the different pages. It's a lot to it's a lot to cover. It's, it's 31 pages in this one VST alone. So it's, it's not no weak library at all. It's very, very massive. And it's got some dope stuff to offer for any producer to do any type of genre uh, sound and music. All right. So as you can see, we're doing a little bit of sound design in the VST Exhale from Output Sounds. It's pretty dope. Um, like I said here soon, we're going to be posting up um, presets on the website, so check it out. We're going to have them for sale. We'll probably do like 50 to 75 of them for 10 bucks. Don't hold me to it, but I know it's going to be about like $10 or what. I don't know how many is going to come in this preset uh, pack, but um, be looking forward to it. Check out the website. It's going to be up within the next week. So, um, till then, this is Guy King David, Trapmaster, Trapmaster.com. Check out that site. Thanks for uh, like, rate, and subscribing. Um, Throw the videos out there, throw the, con the content out there to your friends and other uh, producer communities as well to spread the love. And uh, until next time, peace.